again. But yeah, you know, and who's going top? I guess we'll impact on one side. We'll see. We'll have yeah. absolutely no idea until be this champ select is done. But Maple, you can see, is at least in the top lane position in champion select. Yeah, I mean, if the hovers are to be believed, we don't actually see any LeBlancs here. And it is all fun in games until someone starts losing terribly. Then they're not having yep. any fun. Because that's the thing you have to remember with these guys. They're all competitive and winning is actually very fun. So expect them to try and think a little bit about their picks and try pretty hard. Yeah, we saw some interesting so. things as well as far as item builds. So Ari was almost considered a pseudo AD carry in this mode towards the bottom lane with some hybrid builds, with some flat AD builds that we saw. Let's not talk about the Trinity Force, Ari. Come on. Yeah, in the end, it was uh, honestly just uh, AP Ari that was a little bit more effective. But I'm glad that people have been playing around with it. All right, all right, we got one lock in here. Cars, oh, uh, yeah. no, oh we got more lock ins. Oh, what mouse went Yasuo? Yeah, mouse yep. is gonna be playing the Yasuo. Right. Wayless hasn't quite yet locked in. I really want the Diana. Wayless was a legacy Diana player, of course. His Cassidy's very good, exactly. That's what I want. As Faker is thinking <laughs> about, <laughs> don't do it, the Faker. Master Yi. <laughs> oh, he was. None of them oh, have locked in on team. Master Yi has played this in real games, or Faker has played this yeah. in real games as well. So, yeah. uh, that's interesting how everything is locked in on ice, and just now, oh, oh yeah, my, locked we saw what a Kali. It didn't really work that well, but maybe QTV can make it happen. There are so many massive damage deals on the side of Team Fire, but yeah. it's looking relatively similar. But this is with really cool. Multiple Yasuo's? Yeah. I was really expecting to see LeBlanc because it's the number one pick champion when it's left yeah. up in normal games, but now suddenly in an Assassin matchup. Everyone, I'm luck I'm happy to see the amount of variety we're seeing here. Having Bjergsen on Katarina is super cool because I was hoping he'd pull it out because he's been practicing the crap out of that champion over in NA, so this will be fun. I think the cool thing, though, is Faker's going to be jungling Kha'Zix, and Kha'Zix is pretty much like 100% for the jungle and assassin modes at IWCA, but now Faker's going to try his hand on it up against Yankos. Well, we want to hear from you guys. Hop on to Twitter. Tweet at LOL Esports. Use the hashtag Firewin if you think that Bjergsen and Faker are going to be able to take it, or hashtag Icewin if you think it's Wayless and Maple as far as the mid lane off is concerned. I didn't actually see any smites on the side of Team Fire. We are going to hop onto Summoner's Rift now, though. It's winter time. But there is plenty of action ready to come. Yeah, may not have seen the spike. Faker definitely there it bringing is. it, he though. He brought it back. We're Jungle fine. Faker. There were two junglers technically out. on ice. I was wondering if Karsu was going to bring smite, since we did see double smite in the marksman mode. But he'll probably be going... The casual support He'll ringers. probably be going yep. bottom lane or, or support. We'll see if anyone kind of bites the bullet. No support items early. Actually, Dark Seal from Wayland. Yeah, he is not pulling any punches. Ooh, clear, clear the ward out. I do like that from Wayless. We know him as a pretty all-in player. Goes with the Dark Seal, makes sure that he continues with that style. It's a snowball kind of game, right? I mean, it's definitely going to suit longer this game goes on. Bjergsen is practicing throwing his knives around. I like it. Look at those mechanics. <laughs> Fake is getting intimidated right now. He's chasing him. It's a good thing he's oh. on the same team. Get away. Yep, there it I is. I want to jungle. <laughs> I assume going for that leash, so that should be fine. Faker thinking about starting on a camp here. His impact is bullied to come down and help him out. Minions have spawned. Now, so looks to be going towards the top side of the map, despite the fact that he is in the middle of your screen at the moment. So he might get a cheeky invade after all. Impact's going yeah. through, and Faker's going to be following him in there. Mouse, there's a word on that. They don't see Yankos, but they should have seen him get into the brush. Well, they probably know that there's most likely... Oh, ah, QTV! It's okay, he's fine. He's got a shroud. Oh, no. Taking shroud first. That is not what you want. Here we go. Oh, Faker okay. and impact. Lost invade. Yeah, go right in. Who's going to get the smite? Pops oh over. Surprise. Goodness. There it is. On the Yankos. Oh, man. And the blue buff gets picked up by Faker. Faker. Yeah, Yankos had the smite to heal. Oh, he's in oh. trouble. Uses the flash, but not going to get hit by the tornado. All right. And Karja comes out the bushes. Bounce kind of regrets it a, a lot bit. of damage as in goes QTV. The go. exhaust is down on him, but he's back keep in jumping. visible again. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Carson, way jumping. too low. He has to jump back at QTV. Oh, 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 but Deception does it as QTV. They're looking for the trade as Maple. One auto attack. It's empowered. He's running the wrong direction. I have a feeling QTV, this this is almost lights out. Oh! 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 Gets so himself sick. back. Team Fire with the blaze early. What a flashy move. Oh my goodness, he didn't have anything really. He thought he was completely dead. Maple had flash as well. It almost seemed like he was just kind of mannering him for that kill and he ends up missing it entirely. These are the kind of Keystone Masteries that you're looking for in any high action game, gentlemen. A couple of Furas, but just Thunderbolts. Yep, I like it. Yeah, Yasuo Mirror matchup up top, pretty fun impact from Mouse. Uh, Impact has been a little better traditionally in the 1v1 solo top lane, but 
We'll see how Faker and Yanko affect that lane. That's uh, might be a bit of an understatement there, but he's got. Bowser's yeah, so had okay. his day in the sun. Impact yeah, has. That's much true. Longer That's true. Oh, charm better. I'm super surprised that Mouse didn't decide to go with the Echo, which is available because yeah. one of his yeah. all-time, you know, best performing champions during the regular split was the Echo. He did like to build it relatively damage heavy as well, and we saw it earlier on in this tournament. Side to the Astro is the way he wants to go. As Bjergsen's fighting Wayless, but he's taking a lot of damage. Has to Shampo out. So Wayless just says, nope, I don't have none of that. Smart move there. Pretty actually up in farm is Wayless as well, but we know that Katarina does struggle a little bit early for the melee matchup. But May not necessarily be as much the case. These guys just fight all the time. Uh, we've seen a lot of Yasuo on Yasuo for sure. Enough of it in that one matchup. Mm -hmm. See how Impact takes to it. Definitely punishing Mouse right here. Not giving a chance. Fire one up on that kill, but I mean, it could have easily been another one equalized. QTV had, had that sick juke flash. Oh, cute little knock up there from Mouse. Evens out this particular lane. I feel like we can just talk about the yes would be yes the entire time as they are continuing to fight forever. Beautiful thing. Yep. If this was directed camera, I have a feeling it would just be up top lane the entirety of this game. This is the most interesting thing. We also did this coming off of 1v1s. The 18-minute uh, game was about the length of two 1v1s yep. before that, so it feels like we're just coming right off that mode. No Mata in this game, unfortunately. Ah, but we got cards and we got Maple. Well. They were pretty hype in the last one. And here comes Karza on to Optimus, chasing him down. Yankos is coming through, sends his spikes out, leaps it, and Yankos picks the kill. Meanwhile, Maple is going to polish off QTV. No flash this time. Yeah, not going to be able to juke any fancy maneuvers as Maple just slices him in half. And there's going to be an extra couple back here for Ice. Yeah, I'm glad we're seeing a lot of action in the bottom lane as well. I hope the gold can kind of equalize out. I kind of feel sorry for some of the people that have to duo lane in these modes sometimes. Yeah. I'm thinking there's just not as much farm down there. And since it's such a snowball mode with everyone on Assassin, they're just not going to have a good time. But when they get kills early, uh, as we even saw in the one for all, it's actually the duo lane Lee Sin that had the most. Whoa! That, that was, was a just weird one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Mouse does at least oh. charge up the one more time. Has it underneath this turret as Faker's not going to be able to get his way in. Big minion wave, uh -oh. though. There's a dive opportunity up in the top lane. Level 5 is being gathered, but no level 6. Now Mouse. He's in a whole host of trouble, and Faker just slices him in half. Yeah, he uh, had to run face first into that one. Nowhere to go, close the trap. So, two to two, fire to ice right now. Let's take a look one more time at this bottom lane. Shenanigans that unfurl. Yeah, QTV trying to hide in stealth, but unfortunately, he's not doing anything while he's there. <laughs> it just allows <laughs> Yankos to run and kill the other guy. Uh, then the invisibility runs out, and Maple's easily able to pick that one out. Throws down the smoke screen. Turn see me, guys. Turns out that Akali Rengar uh, isn't that effective <laughs> of a duo lane. <laughs> not the best one. Although, I mean, I guess, I guess they're against each other, so we're not actually seeing that one oh, just yes, yet. Sorry. There's a lot of invisibility, though. We'll wait until level six is hit so that... The Akali Ari much better. Well. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That's what I'm oh, we saying. We saw a so lot Akali of... Ari, that's, that's exactly what We saw a lot of the Ari, but uh, enough about that is Yankos. You know, we're finding a lot more Kha'Zix on Kha'Zix. Baker finds out that Yankos was already up there. Yeah, whoever does the most off. buttons wins generally as Wayless does have level six. That Riftwalk is there as Faker walks over this ward. Wayless, Wayless. gets in oh, there. Oh my oh, god! Oh. Instantly pops him! Oh, Jesus! Yep. The flash to the instant stacked up yeah. Riftwalk into all of his abilities gives a rather unreal amount of burst. That was ludicrous. Yeah, that I did not expect that to happen. Well, not to dodge, mention the revolver he has as well, giving the extra magic damage on his. So really, yep. just everything he could throw. At. Meanwhile, everyone fighting here down towards the bottom side. As Optimus oh. just gets sliced oh. by Casa. Uh. QTV now looking for Maple. One more Q is yeah. gonna do it. Oh, Get but wait, there. Get does it. find it. As now QTV, I uh, have a feeling once again running for his life, and Casa's gonna be able to slice him up. <laughs> He's handling things on bottom. He's got it on lockdown. Maple is just the bait. Yep. Bjergsen, we haven't seen too much of him this game so far. It's been quiet for Bjerg. Yeah. Yeah, Katarina takes a little bit of time. He should be able, now that he has his ultimate, to maybe make some plays. It's so tricky against Kassin, though, because of that early magic shield. Oh, this oh is hold on, though. So help. much damage. The Ignite help. is still there. Bjergsen, is he going to survive? Oh, my God, oh. yes, Wayless, the last tick. And he's going to even it out one for one. Yeah, he ignited him right as he died, and I couldn't quite see if minions were actually autoing him or not, and if he thought he was just gonna be able to live through that. That ignite seemed to last longer than expected. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at this one more time, because Maple uh, kind of instantly regrets jumping in, but Cards is like, it's okay, I got your back, I got your back, it's all right, and never mind, I'm gonna go kill Optimus instead. Yeah, it's up. Oh! That's it, it's Faker, who does land the W as well, but Kass is here. Faker's trying to make this a one for one. Oh! oh my god, Jankos! Just... 
smacks him and gets into the brush. Yeah, the 2v1 a little bit better than level 65. Meanwhile, uh, Yasuo off is happening again, but uh, yeah, definitely when you combine the power of Rengar and Kha'Zix are normally fighting each other, but uh, clearly they're powerful together. Interesting maneuver there as Mouse Windwalls absolutely hey. nothing, and Impact just slices him in half, uses the flash just for fun. Top dive. <laughs> yep, that's not going very well for Mouse nope. at this point. Uh, the thing about mirror matchups as well is there's not really much coming back yep. <laughs> when you fall behind. Like, Wait, hang it's on. okay. I was oh. Yeah. yeah we've uh. got the same buttons, but mine do more. Yeah. Pure mechanics, Atlas. Yeah, precisely. Well, at least the first kill, most certainly, going to be that. Now it's 0-2 for Mouse. Has the teleport, you know, almost has a zeal, which is great. As Wayless throws down a cheeky Q onto Bjergsen. Death Lotus now available, but remember, the Null Sphere does interrupt it. Doesn't necessarily silence anymore. Yeah, it's it got the, the damage. Oh my goodness, look at that. Yeah, no chance to get yeah. in and punish. Jurg was kind of hoping to bait out a Q, so to speak, so he'd be able to go in, but Wayless knew the game. He's very easily able to fly in there. He bit out a whole lot more than that. Couldn't handle the health bar. All right, so let's look across the map. In these modes, obviously, you're going to see not a whole lot of towers getting taken right away. It's all about the kills as Faker and Yankos find each other. <laughs> Just switching positions here as Kasa gets in. Looks like he was killed by the popcorn. But it is going to be the Rango that grabs him. What is it about Karsa just killing Faker in all of their games? <laughs> you wouldn't think that it would happen as a jungler, but it, Faker just keeps opting in accidentally to these 1v2s against Yankos and Karsa. Yeah, this looks good on that Rengar. Right now as well, massive kill participation yeah. as QTV. Uh -oh. oh, invisible! Uh, uh, what? don't move. Help. That they actually doesn't you. do anything. It's invisibility. It's a control where it does not see it. Oh! 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 The Shadow Dance Flash gets him out. Now Optimus makes his way back in. That was cute. As, yeah, control ward, a little bit worse. Yeah, uh, a little <laughs> unlucky, yeah. still thinking it's a pink. That's okay. Now Bjerg's just tagged up top, and he finds Mouse! Oh, the Death Lotus, the hop! Just and Bjerg claims one. I feel so bad for Mouse right now. <laughs> oh, not finally! Hey, this fun game mode. Finally, the Yasuo's gone. I can... Yeah. Uh, At least Mouse had a great world, so he can... He can oh, yeah, no. Jack. Wow. That's called Twist in the Night. I'm sorry. And you don't do that. Yeah, I mean, Bjerg had enough of it. enough already. <laughs> Hey. The LPL guy has to defend. <laughs> Top lane for BDG. Go for it. It's yeah. a rough year. Doing the best that I can. It's been a rough year. Yanko's now just going to clear out this jungle. Stealing it away from Faker as Faker grabs himself his own blue buff. Handy thing about not having a mana user in the mid lane means that you can get away with this. Bjergsen lurking. Has the Death Lotus almost back off cooldowns, about three quarters of the way through. And Mouse should know something's up by now. There's no way I get a free There's lane this long. Oh, wait! There's <laughs> always something up. <laughs> oh, oh like God. Fade away, ignite! Oh, oh God. Oh, that's... And oh, Danny Wayless is going to be dead. Super dead. That situation up top lane where you're thinking, if there are two people in this brush, I am dead. <laughs> Let me check Let's it. Let's face check it. <laughs> yeah. He did Surely try and board, get any but he just had no escape, oh. so uh, I've, it's just not a good situation. He's getting no help, and he's already just... He's got that trinket up, though, so we can spot it next time. Hey, no if he dies enough, spot. though, it'll be worth no money. Very no true. Way. That's <laughs> my solo cracking. queue strategy, Atlas. Wouldn't surprise me, Pyrotechnics. Hey, feed the wind used to work. Yeah, don't worry, I utilize that one as well. As Maples, just gonna hang out here in this circle. He can only go one way. No funny business nope. to be done as another Shadow Dash gets QTV out of the way. He just really likes going the wrong direction, however. He doesn't have the flash, so he can't get over this side. Oh. Yankos just Woo. comes in and says, thank you very much for the kill. Luck ran out. That's that one. Nine to eight now yeah. in favor of Ice. Always seems to be these Kha'Zixes that just get pretty ridiculous. And it just comes down to whose Kha'Zix is better. Is it Kha'Zai? Is that how that works? plural is, personally. I don't know. I'm not really up to date on Void Grammar, unfortunately. And Mouse is just... Oh, okay. man. He's fine for yeah. now, but Help still. is not on the way, so he should run very far. It's just like turret. an EDG game. Oh, just, dear. It just Please! Feel good. Goodbye. He's tanking up the turret, but just so much damage from everyone in this mode. Now it's a decent charm. Optimus flashes himself out of the way, but Yankos... Ooh. Comes down, and this is why Kazix is just busted in this mode. Yeah. No one has any health, Jack. Exactly, and you're not allowed to build it either. In he goes so again. He still gets fed. Up. Well, does he have his flash up this time? All right, he's okay. been a magician this game, but I don't think he's getting out of this one. He's and... gonna try. Oh, whoa! Almost my did God. it. Bang! Boom goes the dynamite. As Wales is gonna come in, looks to try and clean up impact. The bowl is gonna land. He makes it under the turret, but Maple with the fadeaway shuriken's gonna grab the kill. 
Yeah. Just disregarding towers this game. And they're also so they're also winning despite having the 05 Yasuo. Even if everyone's camping mouse, as you mentioned, he actually is worth diminishing gold. Yeah. So all the people are resetting their bounties, going off killing Yasuo, and then basically Yanko, Scarso, the rest of Team Ice is just picking up a ton of gold on the rest of the map. Yeah, you talked about a 05 Yasuo. They've got a 5 0 Kha'Zix there. Work. And they can just keep going on this, pick up the first tower blood as well after the end of this play. They're looking good. And it's not like there's much that can stop the Kha'Zix once it gets rolling. You're very familiar with this when we yeah. see everyone play Kha'Zix Jungle. In IWC, watching this one more time, PGB really had no way out. Impact tried to fly in one before, but uh, not very advised. He's just level nine, can't necessarily get the one shot off yet. And Maple easily able to pick up that kill. And there's not many champions in this mode that have CC as well, but Yasuo is one of them. You know, he has that tornado, can get the knockup, can hold them then in the air as we do have more action. As Yanko is looking Ooh. to try and take down Optimus, so much damage with that kill. Oh. The instant pop double kill from Wayland. Oh, here comes he get his life sacrifice, but Kasa just tears them up. It's a double kill for Yanko. So I don't even know who did the damage there, but a lot of it happened. Yeah, all of them did the damage. There are four people dead for fire. Bjerg's super close to getting those resets, but the cooldown refund on Yankos, if he's able to hit the isolated Q, is just so quick that he's able to continually kill them. 7 0 5 now, and he's like, wait a minute, I'm up against Vega, that's okay, I'm still Kha'Zix, I'm still oh, dead. The knock he's taking the tower, but it doesn't matter! Yankos dies in the end! But they Old still get him! Position, but you know, that's, that's exactly what you need to do. See your death, embrace it, be ready for that gray scream, because he knew that he took down the king. Yeah, we'll try and figure out who did the damage. Everyone burned their AoEs on QTV, which gave Optimus what we thought was a window. Uh, then everyone did all the damage. Wayless comes in, <laughs> uses Force Pulse. And here, Bjerg was just trying to pick up all those daggers. If he could just oh, basically yeah. shun po to all of them, he'd get the very quick reset. You could see the triple kill sitting on the ground right yeah, there. Yeah, it was yep. about like a tenth of a second away from happening, but that's that's what happens when you have nothing but assassins. <laughs> Yeah, there's very few tank options. You can already see on Team Ice. You, you look at Maple, he's got the Maw completed. You look down at Karza and he's got his Hex Drinker. Maybe that helps you a little bit of the ways, but it's not going to last very long. And it's pretty much just been health bars blowing up. QTV, he's lucky to have survived as long as he did in that fight. Yeah. Well, QTV, speaking of which, has just finished his Gunblade. If anyone thinks back to when Akali was a champion that people played, certainly was looking for that, that item before she started doing anything. It was back when both champion and item were very different. That is very true. However, still very, very good at Kali Artist in yeah. her current position. It's consistent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I also just want to call out the Team Fire guys from the GPL. In the fun game modes, they've actually been the carries, especially in the one for all. This game, their KDAs aren't that great, but they're also the ones doing the dirty work. The Sightstone support Ari actually will help them get picks down the road because they're actually yeah, going to have vision. Yeah, and as that kill happens, good point about the Sightstone too. Of course, they do have to convert it and do a damaging item, so we will have to see Eye of the Watchers completed on it, but. Uh, I mean, somebody's got to get some vision, right? Otherwise, you're going to be blind checking those brushes all day. But maybe that's the fun. Alcasa well, going back to his jungling ways, despite the fact that he doesn't have smite, looking to try and pick a 1v1 with the dragon. Optimus spots him out and says, no, 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 no. Cat versus dragon not happening today. Maple split pushing off to the side, much as Zed is wont to do. This is but Wayla continues to get strong. I mean, he's got a stacking rod of ages now. Yeah. And the hybridized items are actually the ones you should be going for. That's something that Yankos is doing really smart right now. He's got the MR item that can act as a spell as well. And he's probably building... Oh, oh, yep. He's just going to get okay. blown up. Invisibility is not going to help him much longer. Mm. Yep. Oh, he's wait. super dead. That was he like the longest teleport. space between kills we had all game. I think it's Faker's going to find Maple. who's going to flash. And the damage is oh. too real. Runs into yeah. Optimus. Bjergsen does get a shutdown on cars as it's happening. Oh, does, God. And Wayless tags in. And he's out. Yep, just good Woo. escape. Jerkson easily able to help pick up that kill with the Death Lotus. As Mouse gets a turret, look at this! Doing work. Yankos hey, goes go up there, him. is able to get the turret. One assist. The more CS he gets, the more his bounty is. That's actually the change that was put in when you had the, like, 010 proxy stint, so they're actually worth gold. The CS slowly increases your bounty up over time, so he will be worth gold. Here I was thinking that it could just be worth, you know, a glorified cannon creep, so they could just send him in. Yeah, I think essentially every 100 CS counts as an assist. And it's a gradual scale, so. I'm helping to balance that out a little bit. I'll quickly uh, shoot in some actual facts in between assassins yeah. <laughs> so I can it's still important. educate. Just yeah, in case those people think they can keep feeding intentionally. No, no, you're worth golden. Now it's even worse. All right, QTB. And now we saw an example of the fact that you're not invisible if you're seen by a turret. Yeah, well also, if they hit you, you glimmer. So like, they'll kind of know where you are if they hit you with an AOE ability. They can't target you, but they can use AOE. 
Yep. Yeah, even more knowledge being Boom. dropped. It's like we saw with the team on the other day. Great, the passion of <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Smart man, Jad. Yerkson killed him. Yep. Yep. Yet another pick up there with the Foxfire, I believe. Wellis almost got a double out of that, though. He did. It was real close. It's a cute jump from Faker just to make sure that he was disengaged. All right. So, 18 minutes in. 19 to 14 kills. Bit of a slow game for assassin mode. Yeah. yeah only 33 kills. Yeah. Pick up the pace. Come on, guys. All right, we'll get there. Jackson still yet to reach max power. He does have that Rallys Crystal Scepter to complete after his Gunblade, which is, of course, already done. Optimus going real utility. He's got the Seeker's Arm Guard, too, so he's working his way towards the Zhanyas. We actually didn't see, like, any of that, and I'll talk to it in a minute because there's a fight going on. Okay, we didn't see any of that in the IWCA. They want full-on damage. Yeah. And, ooh, nice little wind wall there just to block the damage from the Spirit Rush from Optimus. Doesn't have that ultimate to help him get out now as Bjergsen just bouncing around underneath this turret. Yeah, he's starting to get pretty comfy on this, Katarine. He's getting to the point where if he's able to get a couple of the Ws off by picking up the daggers in the fight, he will be able to kind of one-shot and just fight through the fight. And as you mentioned before, there's almost no CC that would stop him. That's why I really expected to see the Pantheon, because he's kind of, yeah. he's like the fun police in assassin mode. You try and jump into assassin, <laughs> he just stuns you for two seconds. I thought that was why we weren't going to be seeing as much Master Yi as well, but there's no Pantheon. Yeah. And therefore, we are all very happy. No, I wanted the Master Yi. I wanted it really? so bad. Yeah, I was so excited, Ugh. so ready. Can't for stand. all of the Master Yi mechanics There's and Pantheon mechanics. mechanics. Fair enough. There's a lot of mechanics. I know. We saw the Garen mechanics today. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's been a good day, hasn't the, it? The high skill cap champions like <laughs> Garen, Master Yi, and Pantheon in was, one game. <laughs> I was joking earlier that I specialize in easy champions. I was dropping all this Garen build knowledge back in the caster room. <laughs> yeah. I wish there was a champion filter like there are for Marksman for just easy. <laughs> yeah. And then you know That's what I can play. Like, Volgana, Garen. Brilliant. As Wayless manages to run himself away using that red box. Impact now feeling the wrath of the 2v1. Good knock up as the Flask Breath does come in. Gets himself into the brush with that is Yankos looking to try and chase him down. Remember that doesn't slow Ooh. anymore as the flash does come in and Impact's looking to run around. Wayless is in there, gets knocked up though, even though he does make his way through. And Casa, as he turns up to the fight, is able to pick that up. But in the meantime, this tower's gonna fall down. They've got a lot of time that gives a chance for the rest of Team Fire to kind of take down a mid turret that'll give him a little extra gold. It's not three to two, 20 minutes in. I mean, you want to open the map up because even if you're not gonna be the greatest at taking towers, well, those objectives can start falling fast. Baron's on the rift, a few more minutes. And they can start doing it fast. Honey fruit. Yeah, it's just, why would you, why would you do that? He's, He's wasting fruit. He doesn't want the other guys to be able to heal. That, that is ridiculous. Come on, guys. Fruit shortage and stuff like that. You can't just be wasting resources like that. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I wish there was like an announcer like uh, if you ever played Gauntlet where it just like insults you for wasting food. Yeah, I hate it. It's one of my biggest pet peeves. <laughs> Wasted food. Unlucky. Well, wait, let's wait, let's find himself Optimus, but it's a good charm. Bjergsen's waiting in the wings. Yankos, oh, Optimus gets himself over uh -oh. to the side, and Bjergsen gets knocked up by Mouse. Now Optimus underneath the turret as QTV wants to try and make himself relevant oh, in this Yankos. game. I'm not sure whether he can. He stays alive in all of that. Wow, that was a close touch and go for Ice. They get two out of nowhere there. Bjergsen and Optimus are down. They're going to look for mid tower. Yeah, this is trouble, too. It's very easy to turret dive when no one is tanky. Well, impact. impact did build a frozen mouth, so he's trying to sneak in there as much <laughs> as possible. Just a refresher on the rules, like the reason Yankos is able to sit on the cloth armor is technically that builds into an offensive item in Seekers. Uh, he's yep. probably never going to move that well, cloth armor, Well, you can build armor, any component. It. I mean, he exactly. can fill his inventory with Glacier Shrouds if he wants to. No, because Glacier Shroud, uh, the Iceborne Gauntlet doesn't have 80 or 80. Oh, okay. But if it did, he could do that. <laughs> Neither did she, Only. so yeah. it had like, if it was the old one, you'd be able to. But. Yeah. Plus, oh, cars. Hey, got one. Getting close. UTV is gonna die. Now he's dead. What? In old chat. Yep, definitely. 23 to 15. I mean, Ice is still leading the charge, and that was a decent gold difference. But I mean, come on, you come down to like a big team fight, you're able to pick everybody off, and it's it's pretty much madness the entire time. Still pretty wide open. There's so many resets in this game mode. It's just ridiculous. So as soon as someone starts winning a fight, it just gets a little bit insane. What with Kazix running around, Katarina running around. Yeah. Kha'Zix is a pretty big, important part of that, though. I mean, you got 10-1, 7 on Yankos. Wayless is in a world of hurt. Yes, Wayless oh. right now. <laughs> yeah. i make that joke again. It kind of, I laughed cool. at that, but it kind of hurt you me. Get yeah, one. You get one. You get one of those again. Cool. Yeah. Good job is on the line here. Yeah. Like now clears out the Rift Scuttler. Maple throws through. Shuriken's clear out this minion wave. Haven't really seen too much of Maple with his friends. He sort of 
Split pushing off yeah. to the side, of course. Yeah. Zed definitely pretty good at that. Has himself a couple of items at the moment. Now Impact gets jumped on by Kasa. All is in. There's the wind wall though. What's interesting is the split pusher is you feel like you're missing out sometimes because there's just fights everywhere. Yeah. But actually getting the minion gold uh, oftentimes can just turn you into the carry. And also, actually pushing side lanes is kind of how you win the game a lot of the times in mm -hmm. this mode. If you're able to avoid just full wipes when you're off pushing the side lane. So I like to think about it like you just know, the because guy that they're all stays assassins. home from the party instead of and, and does his homework instead, you know, he's he is going to get a you know better better score at school. He's just not gonna have as much fun. So of course that uh CS is gonna help. I feel like that could be next to better. You know what I meant. Uh, I understand. He's all like, the same project team, he's doing all the hard work while his while his teammates are out partying. There's two ends to that, though. You call them tryhards. <laughs> yeah, but exactly. then try you don't make friends. You know what they call tryhards in real life? Winners. Successful. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. I think it's a good metaphor there. All right, Ice has bailed out. Baker's hopped on to Maple, and he's going Viz. Can't chase that one any further. But you can see they're sticking together like glue. Looking yeah. for the dragon. I mean, this is a big one. Infernal Drake. 8% AD and AP is pretty hefty when he starts stacking it on, on all of these players. Big minion wave towards the top side as well. You can see Pink's coming out from fire, so he's looking to try and deal with that. His impact is now Oh, up the Willis, that was dirty. Yeah, well, he's got the Lich Bane and the gun, so that's a lot of <laughs> on-hit damage. And we only saw half of that on screen, but I'm pretty sure that's illegal in eight countries. Well, Bjergsen, he's going to be dancing in the mid lane. He's like, well, there's not a whole lot I can do. Now we've got a problem with the angle. Oh, no. What the damage? He's got a problem. Okay, he's dead. Uh, Faker's trying to push back Karza. Oh, and the tower shot. That's pretty big. I mean, it does keep fire in the game a little bit. You always worry that these games are going to snowball out of control and not be nearly as much fun. Yeah. Uh, but when Yankos jumps in between two turrets and dies instantly, it keeps it interesting. I feel like you still need to play really smart, though. So, because even if you, you know, you're super far ahead, you've only got more damage. It's true, and it's like Yanko's tanked up almost as much as he could. He's the Steric's Gage, which is hardly an offensive item, but it still counts because it's yep. like 10 AD on that thing. Uh, but still, he basically gets one shot uh, by Katarina when he flies in there. So not Damn much well. tank here, and that's going to keep happening. Yeah, and Bjerg, for his part, he's also got a little bit of tank stats too because he's built the Rhylize, which mm -hmm. of course is allowed to do because the AP that's on it. And the slowing effect is also going to help when you start chasing people down. I mean, that can mean the difference all the time. So. Katarina's gonna get really, really scary as well. Yankos, even though he's super fed, it doesn't matter if you get popped. Yeah. I love Katarina in this game mode as well, just because you really want to build all of those sort of yeah. hybrid defensive offensive items. I'm really glad we got to see it. I was really worried yeah. that people would be afraid of picking it just because they think they'd have to lane against the Blanc, but nah. No, able nope. to do it. We, we, we've been converted last week. Vedius just wouldn't stop talking about it. It's uh, sufficiently convinced that Katarina is a good assassin. Well, we thought the LeBlanc was going to be a huge deal as well, and then Diana was picked in the first game. I and went like 12 and 1. Dumped it. Yeah. Naru was 100 to 0 in people while they were walking to lane, and they didn't even see their champion die. You know how it does a snap back when you do damage? <laughs> snap back to a gray screen. That's not <laughs> what you want. All right. So everybody's kind of decided to move around the different lanes and try to grab a bit of control. Wayless is in trouble here as Optimus is coming down to help QTB and it. Oh, what the heck was that? Ooh. He took one with them. Oh, oh man, that Cassidy. That was that green gum thing again that he did with his sword. Oh my goodness, that. Got to be a little careful. When you're <laughs> down assassins. He has his onions, man. He should just press it next time he goes in. I don't think he had time. Yeah, that reaction. Uh, oh, Lee Moly. Yeah. The best CC is death, and this Cassidy <laughs> seems to have the best CC. In the it's game effective. Right Can't deny that. <laughs> yeah. Jackson clears out the minions very expertly. Maple shoves another wave yeah. in, but that tower still stands. Rengar ult. Uh, they're going to kill this pretty quick. Yeah. I like the Rengar ult beforehand because technically people want to run away a little bit, which means the response time to the Baron is a little bit slower. No one has their blue trickets up, but they get they one in. No one they they they're the going to steal, buddy. Go for it. Goes in. Oh, and he steals it! Yankos just jumps his way out of his mouse. Once again, the sacrificial lamp. But Bjergsen's going to fall to Maple. In goes Castle one more time. Jumping out of the brush. It's a double now for Maple as Optimus says, well, my friends are gone. Yeah, we saw the Kazakhs took the Baron. I didn't realize it would be a steal until we read it. But you guys got it right away. Optimus tried to go in one before. Not much Missed doing it. right there. Well, uh oh. Baker bought two Barons for his team right now. If Optimus can stay alive, 
Can Wailers close? Uh, not gonna go for it, but impact Ooh, goes around the side. Boy. It's the old last breath, but it's the last of his breath for Wailers! <laughs> Optimus! Oh, dear. He hit his Zanyas! How much fear did you see in Optimus' <laughs> experience? It's like, oh, no, 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 not again, not again, not again. Seven fear right there. Yeah, that was a seven. lot of fear. All right, let's seven take a look at this again. That was such yeah. a sick steal. Just as a Yasuo tornado was hitting him, too, so basically just gets it with the smite. Good timing right there. Yerkson got soloed by Zed off on the side, and then Mouse actually gets a really nice fight in this one as Maple's able to collapse in. So, yes, they get the Baron Steel. No, it doesn't necessarily pull them ahead. Well, Optimus as well. <laughs> Going for it, doesn't find the end of that charm. Last missing, Wayless. He's most certainly a glass cannon. That's exactly what we expected from him. That's why I'm so happy. If there's anyone that represents the heart and soul in assassin mode, it's Wayless, who says, I just got hit by an ultimate. Maybe now I should try to escape. But no, he goes in, tries to kill someone it worked against last all time. odds. Yeah. So. Exactly. You know, the fights are like really cool in and of themselves just because of all these assassins. But you get like some of these like beautifully choreographed replays. That's like my favorite part. Yeah, and now four per four times legendary chance as well. Thank you very much, Fake Baron Steelers. Now Mouse, what is this? Oh, the ball. final breath to get himself out right. of there. Spirit Rush is going, going, going to going. miss out the right way. Oh my goodness, he always seems to be a possible follow-up kill to even <laughs> these things out, but not anymore. I think Mouse got a little too excited about the four times mystery gift. He was looking at the screen, <laughs> checking the store. <laughs> All right, so now they get to siege down bottom. Assassins are great at sieging, so this shouldn't take very long. That was Sark has them, everyone. You actually can't tell with me sometimes. Yeah, they don't act. They have one ranged champion on the side of fire who can hit the turret from far away, and that's the Ari at 30% health. Cars is ulting, but it would be a 4v5. It would not be smart. I don't think so. You're just going to get bullied. Okay, back. correction, everyone. Also, it's only two times bonus. Ah. Just read because the it's graphic. assassin mode, and everything just seems to be super amplified. We had to write down four times. I'm disappointed. Not true. Oh! It's now Maple, he's managing to get out, but his friend Casa is most certainly not. Maple oh. now still running. Uh, Baker's coming for him, though. Oh, now he flashes! Oh, God, repugnant damage. Fire Ooh, pulled even, too, with all of that, so... He evolved afterwards as well. Yes, that's what happens Indeed. when you level up sometimes. Yeah. Most likely going for the W, the Evolved R. I haven't been a huge fan of it. Just gives you a little bit of... Well, he did actually pick up the Evolved R. Did he really? Yeah. Well, he's gone red. Completely corrected. Not sure whether it's better, but he does look cool. Which, I mean, at the end of the day, that's pretty important. Aesthetics, the man. The man who doesn't wear skins really cares about the <laughs> aesthetics. <laughs> And it also means that when you now run into the brush, you get that free invisibility, which is super yep. fun. Yep. Wayless. Oh, he just goes right back in. Super golden now. He defeats like, do I want Please? this? No, oh, he doesn't. He doesn't pick the right side as Wayless makes it a one for one. Mouse now tries to fight someone, but remember, he's got barely any items because he's been dying all game. <laughs> and death does not help you <laughs> do acquire it gold. Death, yeah. Not great in this game. But Promise tells going to teach. You want to stay alive, get gold, kill minions. They continuing with we have plenty of assassins. High level analysis, chat. Thank you so the much. The ones with the most gold are usually the most effective. So Ice is going to be able to knock down this mid turret. Finally, they get Optimus and knock up the Bola. Cars is not going to care about that. All right. So, okay. go deep oh. for him, and he gets tagged Good in bait. now. Here comes Faker. Maybe and Maple gets out. Out. And he nails out of there. Oh, my oh, God. That shield. Okay, calculated, everyone. All right, Hex Drink is a pretty good item. It most certainly is. Now, in fact, unable to close the gap on Yankos, and they get out. Not sure how, but they did. Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, this is a good one. one. We have. I want to replay just of his health bar and the number on his health bar, what it got down to, because I think that was a, a relatively small one. I think you might be right. All right, we're 32 minutes in. It's like, it's just bang on 20 even. HP, this yeah. just in. Wow. Not very much. Yeah, I, uh, I think... Less uh, HP than they're all killed. If someone had breathed on me, would have died. <laughs> Less than half. 56 kills in this game so nope. far. And only seven turrets taken down, so that's this always a good dream. sign. Yeah. This is the dream. Fire does have two mountain breaks, though. We should definitely not hesitate to note. Yeah, it's true. If they do get an ace, that means they'll just plow through oh the Oh my turrets. god, the damage is, once again. Wireless well, just stacks up the Rift Walk and Rift Cruises on top of it of the Akali as Impact finds Yankos. But remember, he's now isolated, gets knocked up as the last breath goes in. Impact, that 
was an odd maneuver. And he is going to fall down as Yankos gets his revenge. Faker now gets exhausted, but still kills Carter through it. The Deathmark comes in. Maple doesn't quite know where he's going. Deathmark, not enough damage. And Optimus is able to grab the kill. Two to two. Looks really good for Ice there, but Fire is able to tag a few more members in. I just... I'm going to ask a question. Okay. Did the interaction for the fourth evolve when you oh, kill Redguard, was, was that removed now. from the game? Well, you should have just seen that. It was fourth one. Oh, oh that's on. true. I don't know. Is the quest there? I don't think it is. It's on gone. Tournament Realm, as Mouse is going to be able to kill Bjergsen. Does have the Hex Drinker, remember, so Optimus' damage not so high. Oh! oh my god. What did Optimus do to Wayless? <laughs> like, off stage. <laughs> because th that is all he seems to care about, is killing this Ari. He goes in with like 100 HP. I, that's okay, I got this. Maybe it's like flashbacks to Cool. Of course, Cool from OMG used to play a lot of Ari. Wayless and Cool, you know, played against each other a lot. Might have been something to do with it. Now, Going Faker, deep there. Faker and Yankos. Faker's so low. Oh my god, that damage. Oh, he's a bigger tactic. Really, it's just the isolation. That yeah. Matters. And, so silly. Uh, in that one, Faker got a little bit ahead of himself. Poor Faker. Yankos was there too. He got a little bit of ahead of him. At yes. The same time. And guess what? They're in 10 seconds. Faker can't steal this one. Yes. Oh, I, got a, I got a secret for you. I yeah. cheated by looking at the indicator. Thanks, Pyro. You got me. Look at his adorable Santa hat. How do you want to kill that? Look at little earmuffs as well. It's adorable. I feel like Impact's going to try and steal this regardless. You saw this. We go. It's Anya's, but it's already gone. They're going to take this one away. Mouse gets the last hit on it. No chance for fire. There we go. So at least the team that has Baron doesn't have the double mountain breaks. Ooh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> a lot of people dead, though. All right. Oh, God. Well, there's the win. Wallace Cast is looking to try and get something back while he's dying. In goes Yankos. This is a very, very good item. Bjergsen well on his out. Here we go. In goes Bjergsen trying to get some resets. Mouse flashes, dashes, does all that he can. Does make it out. Two to two again. I feel like I'm a yeah. broken record this game. <laughs> there have been a lot of trade kills. They mentioned in the assassin rework that they wanted to make assassins not just divers that go in and suicide, but people that can go out or in and then back out. But there, yep. there hasn't been much of that in this game. There's been a lot of in. Trying to use the extra utility to continue to go in. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. It's Ingo's caster, and this is why Rengar gets banned in so many solo queue games. Exactly that. You were having a good time, and you're all of a sudden having trouble. Yep. So it's not just Wayless who's pretty much gunning for Optimus. You got Karzo was able to take him out yeah, pretty quickly I don't quickly know what too. Optimus said to Team I, Ice before this game, but he's regretting it now. Seriously. Yeah, I mean, uh, he's having a rough time. He's been able to pick up a couple of kills at least, so... I actually was surprised when we saw the one Ari. It was pretty much constant AD carry pickup. Uh, I say AD carry pickup, but you know what I mean. Yeah, as IWCA went on, it was more, you know, dipping back to just the full AP, saying that, well... Mm -hmm. She's not great. We don't necessarily need an AD carry because we're yeah. against assassins, and that is the worst time you can possibly yeah. have. And especially when you have a Kha'Zix and a asshole on your team. We've seen this movie before. Yeah. It was a horror movie, I believe. This time, Ari gets away. Raylis is rather mobile now. So if you try to teleport in, he's most likely just going to go away. Yep. I think Impact could hit that cancel button fast enough. <laughs> All right, so we keep waiting. Now gonna get a buff for Wayless as well. They're looking to try and utilize their Baron buff to try and push down a tower. Most of these assassins, not with a whole lot of range, and do like to have some minions that are super empowered. Watch again, they just pop the they pop the Rengar ultimate, push fire back, and then just rush the objective. Oh! And oh, then Wayless is Wow! A lot of damage to Bjerg. He bought some time. They got the Elder. They got the damage. It is now a 4 B4. But Bjerg can't be do anything. Faker, he picks up Wayless. Oh, but the reset. Doesn't matter. Resets on reset. Everyone going? Faker, the Plaskone, everything. <laughs> and that is the ace. Yankos with the emote spam as well for the BM. Oh, man. There's revenge immediately for Europe. You only get to BM Faker once. But Yankos picked the <laughs> smart time to do this. It's the very end of the year, Jat. Probably not going to get revenge until 2017. And this could actually be it, because they still have the Baron buff. They have the perfect combination with the other. They just got the five man ace. And if they so choose, they could end the game right here. That might be the case. I like this game mode. 
Would like to see a lot more of it myself, but 37 and a half minutes in, they're going to knock down those Nexus turrets. This is lights out. Yeah, Nexus turret number two going to fall down. Maple just going to parade around the fountain as Team Ice is going to even the score lines versus Team Fire after the Assassin mode. Casa grabs the 50 gold that you really want. And that is going to be it. And who was expecting this? By this time of the tournament, all tied up. Yeah, exactly even in Fire and Ice points, which I'm sure all these players are really excited about that they're able yeah. to tie it up. But really, this was... At